okay so welcome and in this session we are going to discuss some very important concepts that will be very useful for us for the later part of the chapter so the first concept is that of prime factorization what do we mean by prime factorization but before we understand about prime factorization let us try to understand what do we mean precisely by factorization i think factorization is something that you already know about it and you have already done it many times so let us say that you have a number 8 and you are supposed to write it as a product of its factors so one way in which you would write it as as 2 multiplied by 4 so what you have done here is you have expressed this number 8 as a product of these factors and this is what we call as factorizing a number and this is this process is called factorization so what is factorization the formally we can put it that when we express a number as a product of its factors the process is called factorization now let us try to factorize the number 24 in different ways like wh why does different ways come into the picture as you will see in the example so one way in which i can write 24 is it will change the color so 24 can be written as 2 multiplied by 12 now the goal for us here is to keep on writing the numbers for each of these factors you keep on factoring the factor itself till no factorizing is possible so this 2 will stay as it is but the 12 could be written as 2 multiplied by 6 in this case okay we can even further see the 2 we cannot factorize it further neither can we factorize the other 2 but this 6 we can factorize it in a product of 2 and 3 so now is there any other further factorizing that we can do for any of these factors no we cannot do so we can so so we got this one representation factorized representation of the number 24 when we started with 2 by 12 now let us take another example let us do it in another way so now 24 could also be written as 4 multiplied by 6 so now let us again follow our rule in which we factor the factors till no further factorizing is possible so now this 4 here can be broken down into a factors of 2 multiplied by 2 and similarly the 6 can be broken down as 2 multiplied by 3 now can we break any of these factors further no so again we came at this factored representation for 24 now the other way in which we can write a representation of 24 would be 3 multiplied by 8 so let us factor these factors again so 3 is we cannot factor 3 any further but 8 can be written as 2 multiplied by 4 so if we go further 3 remains as it is 2 we cannot factor but the 4 can definitely be written as 2 multiplied by 2 so again we have this as the final factored representation for 24 now do you see a pattern emerging here these ultimate representations that we got no matter how we started so no matter we if we even start with 2 multiplied by 12 or 4 multiplied by 6 or 3 multiplied by 8 we still end up with the same factorization every time as you can see it is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 so that is what we have observed you can try it for different numbers and you will see the same result now if you even observe this closely here the only factors that we see finally is 2 and 3 and this 2 and 3 are nothing but they are the prime numbers so these numbers 2 and 3 are prime numbers so now it should make sense why we call this as a prime factorization so what essentially we are so 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 one factorization is possible in which you simply write it as a product of its factors so for example 24 is 4 by 6 so this is a normal factorization but when you keep on factoring the factors till you have only the prime numbers as the factors 
right that type of factorization of numbers is called prime factorization so this is what we mean by prime factorization now i'll introduce you another important concept which is called as a factor tree now what do we mean by a factor tree right so in this case i'll explain you with an example let us we take a number given here let us say 90 and what we would die, try to do is to create a factor tree so it's, it's it's pretty simple concept basically it's just a way of coming up with the prime factors the final ultimate prime factors for this number so now uh, how can i write this 90 so uh, what are the two factors that for 90 that come into mind so one very simple thing comes is 9 multiplied by 10 is 90 so i can write make an arrow write 9 here and then here i can write 10 so what i have said is that 9 and 10 are the factors for 90 now we factorize this 9 further so what happens when we go for factorizing 9 so we get one factor as 3 okay and the other factor is also 3 so you see essentially it is just we are changing the way in which we are representing now wh what about the fa how, how do we write the for the factors of 10 so they would be 2 and 5 right so is it possible for us to write the factors of any of these further no that is uh, it's not possible now uh, so, so so this is so what we have done is this structure which we have created here is known as a factor tree now as i told you right and the example earlier we saw that no matter however we factor a number will always end up with the same factorization in fact for this 90 you can also write another factor tree let's say we take the number 90 and we write it as 2 and 45 right now this 2 we cannot factor any further but we can continue with 45 factoring 45 so it could be written as 3 multiplied by 15 again this 3 is end we cannot do anything but this we can finally write as 3 multiplied by 5 okay so in this case if we write down the factors of 90 right in this case it will be we just take the ends of all the trees so we have 2 3 3 and 5 so we can just write it as 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 so in this case also we have 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 so you can see that we have still the same factor what is the i mean there is also another way in which we could represent this is as 3 multiplied by 30 that would also give us 90 now let us try to factorize it again so 30 can be factorized further as uh, or we factorize it further so it is like 2 multiplied by 15 2 we cannot factor out but we can still factor out 15 so we say that it is 3 multiplied by 5 so essentially now we cannot factor any of these ends so what we do is we just circle these ends 3 2 3 and 5 so the factors finally the prime factors that we have got are 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 so essentially if you see this the only prime factors in this case are 2 3 and 5 right so this is again another way in which we do the prime factorization now this tree formed above here these all trees right they are called the factor trees for a number and it is useful to find the prime factors for any given number as we saw in this example